West coast of Cork um, and southwest of Ireland, and uh, it gave its name to this tune written by a man called Finbar O'Dwyer. Finbar was a really great accordion player, um, also played the fiddle, a uh, wonderful musician um, from a, a very musical family. Uh, from the, an area called Castletown Bear on the Bear Peninsula and uh, just uh, off the Bear Peninsula is the island Bear Island um, which gives this tune its title um, Finbar had uh, several other family members who played John was a great fiddler Richie played the accordion and uh, Michael was a really great whistle player. Um, Michael and Finbar both lived in London for a long time so I knew both of those guys pretty well. Um, the other lads I met a few times but I didn't get to know them quite as well but um, their, uh, their music was always uh, something I enjoyed hearing. So this tune starts with an E and a B and then a G sharp which puts it into a major chord. For the G sharp I sometimes use the third finger, sometimes I use the small finger. Um, I don't see an advantage either way so it's up to yourself. Either way is good. Um, so after that first measure we have to jump up to the high E to get to the second measure. Sometimes I play two Bs there. And sometimes I play one B and a C sharp. Here we are with the uh, Bear Island tune for uh, the more advanced players. And the first thing uh, we need to do is pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, to make it like a reel um, and if you if you've gone through the basic version um, it's probably a good idea to take those small phrases that we've been using and uh, try to play them at pace just uh, on their own those small phrases uh, and then piece them together at pace uh, later rather than try and learn the whole tune slowly and try to speed it up. I find that it works better usually if you just take a piece of it and speed that up. Um, so anyway, presuming that you've got uh, adept enough to play uh, at a swifter pace to make it sound actually like a reel, we'll go through this tune now. And you'll see the first thing is that little grace note there. becomes now I'm not sliding the note here but I'm playing the C sharp followed by a D but I don't put the finger down as directly as I did there 